it's been a while since we've been on the bikes. I and know. It's just, don't you start. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's early winter. It's bloody cold. It's been wet. It's a real start of winter, a traditional winter. But what are we going to do? We're going to go out on the foxes. Not ideal whistling times, but we are up for a challenge. And I've got a few whistles, and if I got them out, a smart man would have got them out. <laughs> Apologies to the guys that have given us these whistles to try. The Apex whistle, traditional sort of uh, Tenterfield style with quite a few modifications. We'll give that a run today. And Craig, Craig's got a little bit of a prototype here, which I won't talk too much about. But we're going to give it a go today because it is quite a different note to it. So we'll give that a go. What are you doing? Well, we've got a bit of an issue. You know how when you go on a trip, sometimes this you, is just, never good. you just forget things. Well, I'm seeing triple two ammo. Tell me you bought the triple two. Oh, I got, no, I got the triple two. Okay. Yeah, so no, I'm, I did good, didn't five. I? <laughs> I did good. I'm seeing five, ten, Hang 13. on, hang on. There's got to this be at is... least 20 shots here. There's 20 foxes. No. What do you mean? No. I don't want to hear Going neg on last it's night's neg effort, mate. Oh, very true. <laughs> going on last night's effort. We went out for effort. a little bit of a run last night. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to give them at least six each, I reckon. Six? So, oh, that one's a lucky shot. We're lucky we're going to have four foxes then, by the <laughs> Four foxes, <laughs> mate. That'll do it. Oh, no, let's get into it. <laughs> you right? <laughs> <laughs> this is this this is gonna be a start already. <laughs> Don't you roll it? You need Honda power. Fall on me to my favorite tree. Well I'm offering steady air. I could be your security There's no guarantee on anything Go easy on hitting the cow, shit! I almost caught that one right in the face! <laughs> and I'll take care of you along the way My love, one day the time will leave our troubles behind Wind's coming across us here. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? If we get just over near these rocks here, yeah. just have a go there first, see if we can drag something up and then go around up over the top. No chance, we, we, um, we just miss a little bit there. Yeah, well, you might have to have a quick shot, something bolting off. <laughs> <laughs> quick shot. <laughs> It's definitely got a different tone to it, but nothing at this stage. So it's just a matter of repeating the process, trying different whistles, different callers, and we'll see how we go as the day progresses. We'll head up and try and get up in the high spot. That wind's coming across us here, so we only just keep trying, mate. That's all we can do. Do it. Ooh, Honda took a little bit of start. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Don't you go getting bogged. Oh, that was easy. Why didn't I walk that way? If we can't drag one out of here, something's not right. We'll get a little bit of position up over the top here and we can really get a good view of anything coming in and coming in really early, hopefully. Well, we have to lift our game. <laughs> we can only do so much, you know. steeper than I anticipated and it's got steeper at the last little bit. So we've just had to run the winch cable out. definitely performing uh, very consistently, <laughs> consistently shit house. <laughs> but we've just got to stick at it because uh, things can change really quick. Tell him I've still got all my rounds. He's still got, he hasn't wasted a round, let's just say that much. <laughs> Steve, stop. Don't move. On the hill. Can you still see? No, he was on the right hand side of the tree. It just goes to show it pays to wait and wait and wait. Now we'd virtually given up on that then. And the last thing I did is actually let rip a little bit with this new little caller. Uh, and I must admit, you can vary it a fair bit. And I thought I'll just try and get a little bit more of a sque squealing sort of pup or something distressed like that. And it, next minute Lee's looked across and we reckon we've dragged him from the next gully over, which is probably the best part of three or 400 meters into the wind. So the wind played to our advantage there. He had no idea, well, I say he, Lee reckons it's a uh, dog. It's a pretty big fox, so there's a good chance of it. But um, either way, 
It's taken us a while to get the first one, but hopefully, hopefully now we've got the tune that works. It is a dog. Well, it's taken us a while to get that first one, but it definitely dragged, I'd say definitely from the other gully. So either way, it just shows you, you know, sometimes they take a little bit longer than you expect. And in this case, we've virtually packed up and we're lucky we didn't stuff it up. Which whistle? This one? That one? Yep, all of them. All of them? Yep. All right. I think it's time to give it away. We knew we were going to be up against it when it comes to uh, calling them in winter, especially this I place. Right. It gets hit pretty hard though too. Anyway, yeah, I'll just put this stuff away. And they're good hills here. They are good hills, but we have hit them reasonably hard over the years too, and we're not the only ones. Come winter, went out last night, seen a few pairing up, a few little ones running around together. So I might do exactly the same tonight. I'll jump, jump on the bike, take the thermal out, and we'll see what happens. Otherwise, I think I, we'll be deer hunting tomorrow. I think it's deer, I think it's deer day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to feel like Ben. Here, swap over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever do that again. I've stood on the low position to make you feel a little bit better. Lucky Ben's not here, we miss him. He's in the high country. And I tell you what, he will have done it hard over the last week. It's been the coldest week in winter so far. We've just dropped out of the wind now and it's marvelous how much the temperature rises, probably by about five or 10 degrees. And this is what we're expecting deer to be doing, bedded down in here. We've had no luck on the foxes. I shot one under the thermal last night, that one in the afternoon. That's about it. They're going to ground. They're breeding up. We they're not really. Them. Well, really? Really? yeah, we did. But uh, so we're going to change it up. We're going to see what deer we can find in there. So it might be calling some deer, some yeah. deer, some deers, mate, some deers. Some deers. We 
with some real fresh tracks right here, as in just happened. So he's probably bedded right there. Now, this is how it goes. They're in here. We just got to bump no more. Lee's just had to go back to the bike. One key ingredient was overlooked. Both of us missed out on it. He sat down, I said, it's a good spot to have a call here. He goes, hmm, where's my rifle? just moved down, it had just finished drizzling rain. We thought we'll just drop in over here, this is a good spot. We'll have a bit of a call, we're just as we're sitting down, somewhere in amongst those waddles in front of us there, there was a fellow barking at us. Yeah. We could not see it, so it is only early. It's only just past one o'clock, so we've got the best part of four hours yet. Four of the best hours, hopefully. Absolutely. Something's coming out. Yeah, so hopefully this weather will keep breaking up. It'll be underpants off. Let's go. <laughs> This is cozy. This is the man that's <laughs> cozy it's going to get for at least half an hour, Steve. I'm sure it's snowing somewhere locally. <laughs> yeah, over there. We're just hiding in behind this rock, trying to get out of the weather. It's turned pretty, pretty nasty. It's a bit bleak. Bleak, I think, is the word. So we've got about two hours before uh, dark. Uh, we're going to give it about another half an hour, and hopefully this front that is behind us will come through and then we're just gonna hunt back through the bush, back up to the bikes and um, just see what happens because at the moment, yeah, we're the only ones, only silly enough. We're the only ones who got the Nemo. conditions now. The wind's not too bad either. Hopefully there will be something coming across this way. They should be starting to move. We'll go about half an hour before dark and we're back at where we started first off this afternoon when we parked the bikes. Uh, it 
it's time to call it. They didn't want to play the game. <laughs> <laughs>